Ed Garvey, my God. He's a little bit Irish, have you noticed? <laughs> if, if, he, if Ed was on the street and there was free ice cream over here, on this side of the street, and there was a fight going on over here, Ed would cross the street and say, is this a private fight or can anybody get in? <laughs> That's the attitude that I like. Well, it's a joy to be back with all you good folks, the Barrymore, you feisty Bob Festers, who would get fired up for the 10th annual Baba Palooza that we're going to have tomorrow. <laughs> Wed Bernie and in here, I've been up and down the road with him in Vermont and all sorts of good people, but we need a lot more good people. We need Tammy Baldwin to be elected to the United States Senate. you can help. We need Elizabeth Warren to be elected in Massachusetts. See, we're just getting started. That's the thing. This uh, Bob Fest, we're focused on the class war that's being waged against us by the bankers and the bosses, the big shots, the bastards, and the bullshitters. <laughs> they think they're the top dogs and we're just a bunch of fire hydrants out here in the countryside. <laughs> You know, but as you're showing them right here in Wisconsin, there's more power in a fire hydrant than there is in a pissing dog like Scott Malkin. I was at the rally earlier this year, the great one there in the, in the, at the Capitol with, I don't know, snow on the ground, et cetera, and hundreds of thousands, more than 100,000 people there. The sign I love the best, there was, a, there was a wonderful sign, handmade, said, you screw us, we reproduce. <laughs> That's good. I like that. But here it is. I've got to ask you this. The question for me, coming up here from Texas, is, is it even possible, even possible, that Wisconsin could have a governor worse than we do in Texas? <laughs> tell you a little bit about Rick Perry. Rick Perry, he puts the goober in goober and charl, I can tell you that. <laughs> Beware of this guy, pay attention. He's Michelle Bachman with better hair. <laughs> and he's George W. Bush without the intellect. <laughs> climate change denier. He calls it a theory that is out there. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, his state is on fire. <laughs> but he's been on top of that. Having cut state grants for volunteer firefighters, they respond to 90% of, of the wildfires in our state. Having cut state grants to volunteer firefighters by 70% this spring. He had a solution. He asked us all in Texas to pray for rain. <laughs> we did. Not a drop. By the way, two weeks after he made that uh, insistence that we all pray for him, Barack Obama made just a, a pit stop in Austin. It's a fundraising thing. He just popped in, popped out. The next day, we got two inches of rain in Austin, Texas. But remember, this guy wants to be your president. A friend of mine said he was going to write a letter to Perry, but he couldn't spell <laughs> 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 
Rick Perry, Scott Walker, John Kasich, the governor up here in Michigan, John Boehner and Eric Cantor. These people are all part of the plutocratic cabal to protect the Coke boys and the Wall Streeters and blame school teachers and firefighters for America's financial and economic collapse. This is why Lily Tomlin has said no matter how cynical you get, it's almost impossible to keep up. <laughs> this is the class war that they are foisting upon you and me. It is a class war. It is a hard and historic fight for the middle class, for America's egalitarian values of economic fairness, social justice, equal opportunity for all people. That's what we stand for in America. That's what they're trying to undo. But it's also a joyous fight. I can tell you as one who's been in this battle for a long time that Battling the bastards is just about as much fun as you can have with your clothes on. <laughs> no doubt by now, you're asking yourself, Hightower, what can I do? Not tomorrow, but right now. This very instant, what can I do? Well, here it is. Look in your pockets and you probably have got one of these little Lincolns, that's a $5 bill. And there are people coming down the aisles even as I speak, right, Ed? To absorb your Lincolns. Maybe you've got one of these. It's a Hamilton. It's a $10 bill. You might even have one of these $20 Jacksons. That could go in the kitty, couldn't it? So, as the people come down, as these young folks come down to receive, and wait a minute, look at this. Here's a, here's a, here is a grant, fifty dollar bill, and I've never seen one of these, but it's an Ed. It's a thousand dollar bill. I didn't know this existed. You can do your part as they come down with their little baskets and their little uh, buckets and their little hats and their little whatever they are to take your contribution, please do. Fighting Bob depends on us, each of us, each of us. We've got to do our little part, don't we? Do our little bit for the cause. To beat the big money, we've got to have a little dab of your money, operators or not just available to you right now, they are moving among you. <laughs> and don't disappoint these people. No, they, they're, they're young. <laughs> don't, don't make them cynics. <laughs> Reach in, I, I'm not seeing you do it. I mean, I'm telling you, this is serious. I mean, I want your $5, I want your $10, I want your 50, I want Ed's thousand dollar bill to come out here and support. Fighting Bob. Well, that's what it takes. As Bernie said, as uh, everybody who's going to come up here says, it, you know, Barack Obama isn't going to do it for us. The Congress is not going to do it for us. The money powers are not going to do it for us. We've got to do it for ourselves. That's what democracy is. It has always been that. We've got to take it ourselves. So as they come down to collect your little cash, yes, I see some purses moving. I see some wallets, some people lifting. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. We've got to make this happen. Thank you for your support. Thank you for Bob Fest's feistiness. Thank you for standing up and speaking out. Thank you for daring to take on the powers that be on behalf of the powers that ought to be. You're an inspiration to all of us across this country who give a damn about this country and about this democracy. Do your part. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at Fighting Bob Fest.
Now here's what I can't figure out. How come Hightower wears the hat when he has more hair than Scott Walker? <laughs> he has nothing to hide. Now, we in Wisconsin have had a, we know about the dearth of good journalists. Uh, some of us still get the Wisconsin State Journal on our step in the morning. 